Hello students, today let us see a problem in the topic inference theory for statement calculus from the subject discrete mathematics. This is a problem. We are given four premises. The premises are P R Q, Q conditional R, P conditional M, negation M. So when we combine these four premises, these logically con lead to a conclusion R and P R Q. This is what we are asked to prove. So for the proof, let me divide the split the so, table into four columns: step, statement formula, rule, justification. First of all, always I told you to start with a simple premises that has no connective at all. If you look at the first one, it's it has a R connective. Second one, conditional connective. Third one, conditional connective. And the last one is very simple premise that has only negation connective. So I start the proof with the negation M. So here I have introduced the uh, one of the premises. So Premises can be introduced using rule P that needs no justification. And secondly, I have to introduce a premise that involves M. Since I ended up with M, let me introduce a premise that involves M. P conditional M is the another premise that involves M. So let me introduce that premise also. Premise can be introduced using rule P that needs no justification. And now, when I combine these two premises, what is the derivation or what is the conclusion? Let us see. It is a conditional connective. I told you in the introduction video that whenever we are having a conditional connective, we happen to apply either mod exponents or mod tolerance according to the extra premise we have. So if we have the left hand side as an extra premise, we apply mod exponents. Negation of the right hand side as an extra premise, we apply modest tolerance. And here, P is the left hand side, that is not the extra premise. M is the right hand side. Negation of the right hand side is an extra premise. So, we apply the modest tolerance. When we apply modest tolerance, what is the conclusion is negation of the left hand side. So, here, negation of the left hand side. Left hand side is P. Negation of the left hand side is the conclusion, derivation. And this is the formula derived. So we can derive this formula using rule P, T. And we need to justify what are the steps involved and what is the implication we have used. We have used the statement formulas in steps 1 and 2. And these two statement formulas are applied in modus tollens, tollens. So we justify this step. And let us introduce, we, since we ended up with P, let us introduce a premise that involves P. P or Q is the next premise that involves P. So let me introduce P or Q using rule P. So for rule P, we need not give any justification. And let us combine these two premises. So which rule we shall apply? We are having R connective. Whenever we are having R connective, we shall apply disjunctive syllogism. With the R connective, if you have negation of one of the variable, then the other variable comes as a conclusion. So P or Q along with we are having negation of one of the variable. So the other variable is going to be the conclusion. So Q can be derived using rule T when we combine steps 3 and 4 using disjunctive syllogism. So now I ended up with Q. Let me introduce a premise that contains Q. Q conditional R is the next premise that contains Q. So let me introduce the premise Q conditional R using rule P. So for rule P we need not give any justification. Now let me combine these two premises. So these two statement formulas. Whenever we are having conditional connective and left hand side of the formula if it is there as an extra statement formula then we can conclude the right hand side using mod exponents. So Q conditional R is the conditional connective and along with this we are having the left hand side Q. So we are going to apply mod exponents. When we apply mod exponents the right hand side is going to be the conclusion. Right hand side going to be the derivation. So R the right hand side is going to be the derivation and this is derived using rule T when we combine 
the statement formulas in step 5 and 6 using mod exponents. Now, what should be our conclusion? You see that R and P are Q. So, we ended up with R. Already we are having P or Q as a statement formula. Let me combine these two. R, P or Q using conjunction. So, when we use conjunction for step 4 and step 7. R, P or Q. We will have R and P or Q as our derivation. This is what we are supposed to prove. So, our proof is over. Next video, let us see another problem. Thank you.